Did you see the absolute pig's ear I made of making this tag for my um, tag prompt and for the Make Art with Martha prompt? Um, yes, I heated through my cotton and it snapped. So it's not very good. It was supposed to be a spinner element, but I've now got a dangly element instead, which is quite nice on a tag, but not quite what I was going for. So I thought we would have a go today at doing a spinner card. So I've gone ahead, done some prep already. Um, I've got a super smooth uh, 300 GSM card blank I've made myself. It is roughly five and a half by four inches. I've cut a circle using a die in the middle. I've gone ahead and I've done my um, spinner element already. So I've used the B from the big A5 stamp um, from Nature's Beauty. I will leave a link down below. Everything is available still on Craft Stash, Craft Stash, which is amazing. And it's really reasonably priced. I'm not sponsored. I don't get any money for the sale of these things, but um, I'm proud. I designed them and they've been manufactured and they've been quite popular from all I can tell. So I have got my stencil kind of where I want it on my card front and I might have to move it up um let's let's go like that actually yeah that will do I think yes I might use a bit of this tape just to tape it down I do like this green tape I don't know the make of it I'm just going to take the excess off excess sticky off on my skin so that it's not um going to tear my paper and I'm just going to take that down like so and I might have to add another little bit at the end of this process but I've got some transparent texture paste uh, in gloss and I'm going to just put some on not everywhere. I love the smell of this. It's kind of almost citrusy. Come up the side here. And you can see why I've put this paper down because I want to protect the back of the card. And that is going to do. I'm going to... like so and I'm just going to go round the inside of my jar like so because otherwise it will form a little seal round and I won't be able to um, undo it next time I come to use it. There we go, hopefully that will be all right and then I'm going to put on some pixie powder and you can see that it's um, not perfect my stenciling through but I don't actually mind that so I've got a uh, peacock green I've got golden mint and then I've got some teal wash for the top And I'm going to just now lightly spray with water. And very carefully take my stencil away. Now I can't do anything else with this until my card is dry. So I'm going to leave this to dry very carefully and I will come back. So it is the next morning now and this has dried beautifully. Can you see the gorgeous glossy shine on that? And we've got just enough kind of texture to make that um, a tactile thing. It is a bit messy up here, but you know, it, it is what... It is, you get what you get. I could maybe have used, instead of the Twisted Citron, 
here maybe have used um, mowed lawn. A little bit more depth of colour down the bottom would have been quite nice, I think. But we're ready to assemble this card now. So I've gone ahead, I've just put a bit of red liner tape here. That's going to burnish that down and take the backing off this bit here. Burnish you down while I'm here. And I've gone ahead and I've already started to thread some little tiny seed beads onto my string cotton rather because uh, I want it just to have a little bit more oomph so let's see if we can do this without disturbing it so I'm going to place this centrally like so and pop that down then I can thread my other three beads um Oh, hold on. I'm just making sure that that cotton is really taut. And I'm going to maybe have to tie a little knot in this bit to stop the beads from sliding down. But I don't, I don't suppose it really matters. One. I could perhaps have benefited from having a needle handy. I'm just using a little packet of um, seed beads I've got. In fact, that one isn't clear, it's white, but it doesn't really matter. Just all adds to the overall element. Oh, come on, where have you gone? There you are. This is quite fiddly. <laughs> It's about eight o'clock in the morning as I'm filming this. I don't know when you're going to see it. Blue is sitting on my paper trimmer, which is one of her favourite places. Wagging her tail at the birds. Now, I really don't want that to move. So I'm going to put another bit of tape over the top of that just to really make sure that that is anchored down. We don't want you going anywhere. There we go. That's okay. And while I'm here, I'm just going to snip that little bit of excess cotton off there. There we go. Right, now, this is going to be challenging for this time in the morning as well. I want to tie a little knot just to stop those beads from slipping to the bottom of the thread. Might have to have an emergency slurp of tea in a minute. What's your tea of choice first thing in the morning? I do like my Earl Grey. It has to be Twinings Earl Grey. Um, and I don't have it with milk or anything like that. You might have heard blue. Barking then, there's a blue tit on the tree. Get a lot of blue tits, a lot of long tailed tits. Um, I occasionally get a robin. I did see him inside the glass bird feeder yesterday. The person that I'm making this card for has got lovely bird feeders in her back garden. And another knot. This is very fiddly. <laughs> I might just go, do you know what? Stuff it. If I'd used a slightly thicker cotton, I would have got a better knot to stop those beads from slipping. There we go. Still think they're going to slip past it. I'm going to pause you while I get this done. I've given up. It's close enough for jazz. And I'm going to just anchor that down. In doing this, this has slipped a little bit and it's not exactly central. But, you know, it's close enough for jazz. 
close enough for jazz. Now, obviously, I've got this tape exposed, which we don't want. So I've gone ahead already and I've cut a piece of white card slightly smaller than this um, card dimension here. And I've just um, lined it up and circle cut the aperture. And um, I've just done a little bit of stenciling just to bring the outside in, as I say, these were the beads that I was using, these little vitamin C beads. Now, I don't want to call out on this. I'm going to go round here because we want that to be really well glued down. Round my edges. Now we're going to line this up. Making sure that our aperture is perfectly lined up. And there we have it. I've also just gone ahead and very lightly stenciled on here. This is where I'm going to write my message, obviously. There is our little spinner aperture card. What do you think, guys? I like that. Now, I do want a little sentiment. You know me. So I've got some Timmy Holtz clippings here and I have found just to say. So I think I'm going to use this. Let's have a look and see. I think we'll have just there. And then we can put our two. This is, um, I think we'll have. And then we'll have say here. This is the uh, chit chat, little chit chat. There is my little card. I had brought some little gems in to see if I wanted to put those on, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Less is more, isn't it? And I don't think the lady that I'm giving this to is a kind of fussy person. Do you know what I mean? Unless we were to put a little... No, I'm not going to. We're going to leave it at that. So don't forget to comment as always. And uh, let me know if you'll have a go at making this card. You can obviously make your aperture and the spinning element any shape. Use any nesting dies that you've got. I mean, Valentine's Day, a heart would be lovely, wouldn't it? Or I know Mother's Day has gone by the time you've seen this. It would be lovely for Mother's Day. You could have a big heart-shaped aperture, beautifully kind of, I don't know, um, glossy accented or something heart uh, you know, enamelled maybe, and um, just the word mum in the middle would be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, that is my card. I'm off. I've wittered loads. Take care, everybody. Bye now.